And if you're good at the pause game like we are, uh, you might notice the soul that she's taking or has maybe taken before. Uh, supposedly her dead husband's soul is in there somewhere too. It's also worth mentioning that this very creepy section of the trailer is where we get to the part of the song that says has a devil put aside for me. That's obviously referencing Satan and demons which the Joker and Enchantress kind of represent. And that line means that the singer slash narrator knows that his soul is doomed just as we see the doomed souls of Katana's blade and oh my god this song fits so perfectly. The music starts to ramp up into the rock anthem part of Bohemian Rhapsody with Deadshot loading his gun to the beat of the song. Just totally showing off, I guess, to Amanda Waller. And then at the peak of this like roller coaster energy, we get what many are calling their favorite moment of the trailer. Captain Boomerang nailing that Australian spirit of beer drinking. But since there have actually been a couple of pretty good Captain Boomerang moments in this trailer, you might be wondering, is he actually going to be like a really big deal in this movie? And it definitely feels like they're trying to make him a fan favorite. And considering that he's typically a Flash villain and there is a Flash movie coming out, maybe they're actually setting him up if he does well with audiences to bring him back in that movie. I'll say so far, so good. Though I still think a lot of it's going to depend on just how Cool, they're able to make throwing a boomerang look. Speaking of the boomerangs, you can see a couple of them right there. But either way, we'll have to wait and see if they pull that boomerang thing off. Let's keep going into the section of the trailer where it starts to just become genuinely one of the best edited trailers of the year.